Good day, friends. It is me, HL Montech, and I'm back with the ANET ET4. Friends, we're going to print that calibration cube today, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so if this is the first time you've watched one of these, I try and make it quick. So there might be parts that I'll talk about having done before. Well, they're in previous movies, but all I'm doing is loading my XYZ calibration cube. I've already got the ANET. I am going to switch. When I do the calibration cubes, I like to go back to the normal 0.15 settings. Let's just go through these real quick. Layer height 0.15, line width 0.4. I'm doing two wall thicknesses, 0.75, five layers. Those are all good. I'm going to stay with 10% lines. I'm going to use 210 and 60 because I'm liking that with this filament. I am going to go with the default print speed that the profile came with. Um, I've been having a ton of success with 75, but when you're doing a calibration cube, I might as well use the settings that are in Cura when you start out. Um, cooling's good. I like skirt, four lines, and 250. So my friends, let's save this to the SD card. One thing I do want to let you know is when you save it, I'm going to actually go view that file. Notice how this one up here is real long. Uh, when we go over to the screen, you're not going to be able to see it because it's too many characters. This one will fit, which is good. Uh, and then I'll just rename these later. Matter of fact, watch this. I'm going to do right click copy, right click paste. And I'm going to change this to just counting ring. I'm going to get rid of the word copy. And then that one will show up on the screen. This one will show up on dots. So that's just something you need to be aware of. The length of your file does affect what you can see on the printer. Also, don't forget to eject safely. You don't want to wreck your card by not doing that. So let's head to the printer. So here we are at the printer. Real quickly, I'm going to just show you under settings and info. I'm using 1.13. A user asked me about that yesterday, so that's a good thing to keep track of. Then I'm going to go back. Let's go to print. And as promised, there are the dots. That one is too long. Counting ring size 10. That shows up just like you would expect. Let's see if we can go down and find our calibration cube. There it is. Kind of hard to read, but that does say XYZ. Let's hit OK and let it do its thing. good chance to get to see the filament guide in action. You can see that little bearing is all 3D printed. That file is on Thingiverse. Uh, the longer you use it, the more uh, smoothly it will roll. That's just the way the plastic works. I am still working on creating the little part that I'm going to add back here. Alrighty friends, let's slide it back and see what we made. So once again, we'll zero it out. Let's measure X first. Nineteen point nine eight. That's the best I've had yet. Let's check Y. Twenty point zero four. That's pretty awesome. And now let's measure Z. 19.43 so I'm still low on Z's but the X's and the Y's this is by far the best I've done alrighty friends so once again this is a stock ANET ET4 uh, we've only printed a few things on it and that's pretty darn crisp for getting it out of the box I will try and work and see if I can get that Z to come in a little bit better but the other two I am really excited about remember we did this also with the ET4X and both of my ET4X's uh, one was a little bit below and the other was a little bit above still really really accurate prints for right out of the box before i've done any calibration friends i will add a link in the description if you're looking for the calibration cube and of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.